So you've got a new SSD and want to upgrade your system without the headache of reinstalling Windows and all your applications. Well, watch to the end to learn how. All right, let's get started. There are a couple of ways to connect your new drive to your system. One, you can connect via an available slot or using an external enclosure. In my case, I'll be using an M.2 NVMe external enclosure. Here's my external enclosure. I'm gonna make sure the notches align and I'm gonna insert my NVMe drive into the enclosure. Now I can connect the drive so we can get started with next steps. Now, quick note, make sure that your new drive is either the same size or larger than your current drive. Now that I have the drive connected, I'll open up disk management to ensure that the system has properly detected the drive so we can move forward with the cloning process. Here we go. This is our existing drive and here is our new drive. So the system is properly detecting the drive. To clone the drive, I'll be using a powerful yet simple tool called Isis Disk Copy. Download links will be in the description below. This application will allow us to safely clone the Windows system and related system partitions and get me back up and running without any real downtime. Let's jump into Isis Disk Copy. Right away, it detects the new drive and asks if I want to migrate the OS to the new drive. Now, because I want to see all the options, I'm going to click no here. On the left side, we have disk mode and system mode. System mode is the mode if I want to just migrate my OS over to the new drive. But what I want to do is copy the entire drive, which includes the Windows OS and all the partitions and applications that are currently installed in that drive. So I'll jump into disk mode. Here it's asking me to select my source. And don't worry, the data on your source drive is completely safe. A backup is not needed. As we saw from disk management earlier, disk zero is my source drive. So I'll select disk zero and hit next. Disk one is my two terabyte target drive. I'll select disk one as my target drive and hit next. Now here where it says specify the target disk layout, it's already set for auto fit the disk. That'll ensure that it will expand your partitions so that you can utilize the full size of the new larger drive. Copy as the source will maintain the size of your source drive on the target drive, even if that target drive is larger than your source drive. Edit disk layout allows you to modify and adjust the size of your partitions on your new target drive. So the best choice for me is auto fit the disk. I'll select that and click proceed. This copy is gonna prompt and remind you that the target drive will be erased during the copying process. So I'll click continue to move forward. The cloning process will vary in length depending on the speed of your system and how your drives are connected. So we'll jump ahead to the end of the process. All right, process is completed. Once it's completed, File Explorer will open up a window listing the contents of your target drive. This copy is confirming that I've cloned the system to the disk in my USB drive and it wants to know if I want to attempt to boot from the USB drive. In my case, I'm going to swap drives and boot from my new drive after it's installed in my laptop. So I'm going to click no. I'm going to click finish and it's time to shut down and get the new drive installed in my laptop. Whether you're upgrading your desktop or your laptop, always remember to remove the power source from your system prior to upgrading your new drive. All right, we're back up. The laptop has successfully booted from the new drive. We'll jump into disk management just to confirm that the system has detected the full size of the new drive and then we're good to go. There you have it. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.